Hey, hey, hey. This is your man, Pat on the cam. I'm Kyle. <laughs> we are here. Welcome to uh, Cinema Ave. Where we talk shit and talk about movies. Speaking of shit talking, how's, how's things going over there? You great? Yeah, I mean, it's been a kind of a shitty week. Yeah? If I'm being honest with you. It's uh, like at work and at home. Oh, shit. Why? It's been just a rough, <laughs> rough week. You want to talk about um, it? <laughs> yeah, so um, it's been state state testing all week, Ooh. which sounds great for a lot of people, mm-hmm. um, but I now have to administer a test in addition to having um, like lesson plans done and stuff, so I have like three hours of I sit there and I stare at, at kids, mm-hmm. and like so I, I watch a bunch of movies in the morning, and then I write reviews while I do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it sucks because I had the special ed kids that like have a lot of trouble logging in and they can't get their stuff set up. And I have one kid that they like refer to as the mad scientist. He mm-hmm. just like, kind of sits there and laughs at stuff all, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with them because like I can't stop him from laughing. But I have to be like, people are testing. Like they're not all as smart as so you. So he laughs during the test. Yeah, that's funny. And it's all like, you know, you answer the questions however you answer the questions. Like any other test, you don't not on the same exact question as everybody else. And he's finishing the test in like 18 minutes, and it's taking other people like an hour and 10 minutes. So he's bored. Oh, he's bored out of his mind. <laughs> like, I was just thinking, that like, he's going to be, like, loaded when he's older. He's just going to have tons of money. Like, I just, like, I was like, but he's just going to, like, have no friends. Like, I feel bad. I mean. But I feel like he's going to have no friends, but he's going to be loaded. He'll just buy friends. There you go. <laughs> At that, you know, I mean, you might get one soon. You, you might find a sidekick who's more like mad, or what's it called, like a hundred that follows him. My little little mad he scientist. Might. He might. You ever seen like, uh, oh, uh, Young Frankenstein? Yes. Like Igor. Like imagine if I, <laughs> <laughs> like Igor followed you around all the time. Like, <laughs> oh, that'd be funny as hell. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was cool. And I got a new kid this week, which was fine. Mm. He's actually a pretty good kid. Mm. But they, I can't, no, I can't talk about that stuff. That's okay. It's, it's like, you'll, like, I'll get in trouble if I talk about that stuff. We don't want you to get I'll in trouble. I'll tell you when the camera's not rolling. There you go. Um, <laughs> but then at home, so our hot water is not working in the kitchen. Oh, shit. Because it's leaking, mm. like, under the sink and, like, into the basement. And we're pretty sure, like, months ago, I'm sitting in the basement and it was pouring. And all of a sudden, like, water just, like, started pouring into the basement. I remember you was telling me But then, like, instantly stopped. Like, yeah. immediately. And I couldn't figure it out because it was still pouring outside. Mm-hmm. But I was so sure it had something to do with that. And, um, but I seem to think that, like, it was dripping from the sink. Because there is a hole that goes from the sink in the kitchen down into the basement. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure it was, like, slowly dripping. And it's where there's a drop ceiling. Mm-hmm. And it eventually just, like, collapsed. So the ceiling just collapsed. So we had to shut the hot water off. We haven't had hot water, actually, for, like, a couple months now. And we've... I don't know how we've survived. I don't know. Just in the kitchen or? In... Like, like just in the kitchen. Okay. Like, we've had it everywhere else. And, like, we don't really need to do dishes. We have a dishwasher. There you go. Dishwasher broke the other day. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> like, I came home. I was like, I'm just going to turn it on real fast. I got stuff to do. I need these dishes clean. I'm going to do that. I'm going to post a review. And then I'm like, I'm, I'm, like, stuff will be ready. And I'm clicking the button and nothing's happening. Like, I mean, you can always go old school and wash them in the sink. But you got to boil water. So, you know I, I, mean? I did turn the, the hot water back on, and okay. I stuck, like, I just stuck a towel behind it so it would catch it. I could do it, you need to do it for a short time. Yeah. But I can have it dripping for hours down to the thing, and then it collapses. I mean, and... if I were you, you know, just suggesting, get a pot, just put some water in that bitch and boil it. Well, do you know how many dishes we had? Nah. Like, we <laughs> desperately needed to run the dishwasher because I had just cooked the night before, and uh, the sink was full, full of and I was about to cook again. So yeah. I was about to have, like, a third dishwasher load That's amount I don't even have to, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like an idiot like the, the, <laughs> like the three loads worth of dishes you prepared know, you know I don't get old cause like I saw this dish rack <laughs> you know when you were a kid you're like oh if you don't get it yeah. I was in the store like yo that dish rack got on fire I might buy that and put the stats on there I'm like oh man this is weird so like you know Nicole yeah and every once in a while she just like buys us random stuff they go to uh, Home This or Home That, as mm-hmm. Dave calls it. <laughs> and it's uh, it's either Home Goods or Home Sense. I don't ever remember which one is which. But one is Home home This and ho- one is Home That. Because mm-hmm. he hates them and he's just like, they're dumb. <laughs> um, but she'll randomly like go there and buy stuff. And it's like a spoon rest. 
but it looks like Mickey, and they're like, they're like, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's or, pretty cool. Or she goes, you don't have any decorations for Valentine's Day, so here, here's like a here's a mat for your wet dishes with Mickey and hearts on it. That be that's kind of dope, though. <laughs> we're old. Yeah, but you guys, the Star Wars, you got what is it, the the Waffle Press? I do. I yeah. do. I do have the. Uh, the toaster. Like, you, you see get. me, I got Deadpool stuff. I mean, yeah. It's, but yeah, it's weird being old now. I miss this thing called energy. I don't know if you had that, but I, I used I, to. So, I don't have any energy, mm. but I still get up at 4.30 every morning. I was up at 6. I don't go to sleep till 4. Uh, I get up at 4.30, and I'm usually asleep before 10, mm. um, which is okay with me. That's like six and a half hours. Yeah. But I've gotten to the point, so Vegas, like, screw me up. The three so hour difference, bad. right? So, I for people that don't know, I went to Vegas last week. I went over spring break, and like it screwed me up. But I didn't. It didn't really matter. I just slept until I, I had to sleep. Like I didn't really have anywhere to be. That sleep is. Different. I had to go to like <laughs> you know like breweries and stuff that didn't open until eleven o'clock. So I didn't really have to get up and. But I did a lot of walking. I was up by like eight o'clock, and I mean like eight o'clock Vegas time was like eleven o'clock. Jersey time. time, so I was like a bump. Yo, like I uh, when I was in Vegas, first off, <laughs> you know when you get off the plane, you want to go to a hotel, you want to just chill. Who I went with, there was just like, oh, like I want to go out this party. I'm like, I just want to take a nap. So we ended up going to the dispensary first off, so that was cool. But then mm-hmm. it was like we went to like three clubs, and you know Jersey, you go to a club, you go home. I'm like, what time is it? They're like twelve. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be three. It's gotta be three in the morning. So we're out at clubs, and then the crazy part is like, like you walk in and you see tourists, and dead at seven o'clock on the dot, there was like prostitutes, and they're like, "Oh, you looking for a good time?" I'm like, well, "How did y'all, man, y'all clock in on time?" It was just weird to me because I wasn't expecting that to happen. Yeah. But speaking of prostitutes, so I, this is weird. <laughs> but so I work at a liquor store, and I like you get weird people. But this person did like she seemed very nice. She was mm-hmm. like an attractive lady. She's probably like in her probably in her forties. Mm-hmm. She just looked like she had like a low cut shirt on underneath of her like her trench coat. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, she had a trench coat? Yeah. <laughs> or like a like a robe of some kind. I don't know. Right. She just looked like a prostitute. Yeah. Did she ask you if you want a good time? Or? No, she didn't. <laughs> uh, she probably saw the ring and like You go to the wild up the street, go ask you. But like weirdly time. like you get, like, you get, get a lot of dudes that are like, don't care that I'm married. Oh, they be hitting on you? The dudes? Yeah. So I legit had a dude that was like, that's a nice ring. Uh, does he treat you well? And I was like, like yeah, she treats me really well. And he was like, no, he. Okay. And I was like, no, no. she. <laughs> and, like, he's like, he, two inches over, but nah, it's like, she. <laughs> the manager was standing next to me, didn't say anything. He's like bagging for me. And he's... <laughs> He waits till the guy leaves, and he's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have said anything, like, while he's hitting on me. <laughs> but since then, like, I met, I figured out, like, this guy's name is Bruce. He's a super nice guy. He comes in all the time. He's like, I'm going to send you, like, recipes and stuff. And I was like, what? He's like, I'm sending you recipes for frittatas. Which, like... <laughs> Try to get them draws, dog. <laughs> like, honestly, like, that sounds like a thing he would make. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when I was working at uh at Sam's Club, I, I'm not I'm look, dog. This guy looked like Ricky Martin. I ain't gonna hold you, but he was like he had like the long hair. And Ricky Martin's like a good looking dude. I mean, but he looked like great value Ricky Martin. It was a little scary. Okay. So he walked in. I'm at, I'm working in a cafe. And he goes, "The fuck are you doing here?" I was like, "What?" He was like, "Oh, I'm sorry. You look like my ex." I was like, "I'm strike one." <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "All right, whatever, right?" So he asked us for um. I was like, how can I help you? He was like, can I get a hot dog combo with a side of you? I was like, strike two. <laughs> so I'm just like, All right, you know, I'm trying to like, nah, whatever, right? So then he was like, uh, do you like men? And I was like, nah, I like women up, down, left, right, this straight women. I'm good off of that. He was like, would you want to try a man? And I was like, Go I'm hard pass for me. And he was just like, all right, cool. And he just kept hitting on me. And I'm just like, dude, I'm on the clock. And like, it'd be cool. I'm just, I'm just chilling. But then what made it crazier is he got a... Uh, he got a hot dog combo, and he's just, he's just deep throwing a hot dog looking at me, and I'm just like, I want to go home. <laughs> Stranger danger. I That's like borderline sexual harassment. That, exactly. That, my manager's like laughing. I was like, it's not funny. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> so 
Like, but he kept coming back. He, right. I would see him every once in a while. So, that's like a pretty... Uh, I'm going to just like transition into some shit we want to talk about. All right. All right. So, <laughs> had had a woman... Mm-hmm. Or had... I'm oh, sorry. Had, had a straight guy sat there and like licked something staring at a woman. That would that would have been over. Absolutely. You'd left in handcuffs. <laughs> well, Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So that's like... I feel like a good transition into that, the... That's good. All right. So we got Will Smith and we have Johnny Depp. Mm-hmm. Johnny Depp's the big thing. Will Smith's like old news at this point. Like nobody cares anymore. But there's up. like black and white and mm-hmm. like that's it. Like there, people don't see any middle ground. Like right. I ask people like, does Will Smith deserve to have his Oscar script? Like that's that's black or white. Like you have the Oscar script, you don't have the Oscar script. But people are like, should he have slapped Chris Rock or not have slapped Chris Rock? Mm. So Give me your opinion, because I, I get, tell me what you think. Like the whole thing was Chris Rock right, wrong? Was Will Smith right, wrong? Was Jada was she right, wrong? So like, like the overall whole thing, personally, I feel like Will Smith has been going through it. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like you know, and it sucks. Like as a man, how you know how society is like. If you're a man, you can't move. I'm like the fuck is that? What are we robots? You well, know what I mean? There's that word again. It, 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 <laughs> so I just feel like I feel like overall he had those. It wasn't just that situation. It was more going on behind that. Yeah. And I feel like he stood up for Jada, and I'm not mad about that, but I'm like, I can't say if I would or not smack her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's a different way to handle it. I'm not mad that he did it, but I feel like you've been working your ass off to get to where you're at, and you're going to blow your whole career over that. Yeah. And what made me mad after that, because I'm like, all right, cool, you stood up for your woman. I get it. Like, what he should have did, he should have went up there and talked to her, like, hey, man, look, it's not funny, da da da, whatever. Gonna handle it like that. But then you go sit down to keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. First time I was like, oh, they act- is he acting? And when he said it again, I was like, oh, this shit real. Okay. But what got me is how Jada acted afterwards. Like, at first she was looking like she was mad. And then when he did it, she laughed. Yeah. And I'm just like, she- and then like later on, she was just like, I didn't need him to stand up for me. And I was like, okay, that's the case. Did she say that? Pretty sure she was like, I'm, I'm, you know, I didn't want him to do that. I'm good. I can handle my own or whatever. Yeah. So it's like, I'm, you know. I didn't even know that part. I'm like paraphrasing. But it's just like, your husband, who the night was supposed to be about him, stood up for you. And instead of you, like, you know, staying by his side, you, you know what I mean? Like, you just be like, oh, well, he didn't have to do that. It's like, he she, did. <laughs> she's, in my opinion, she's like the worst type of person. <laughs> <laughs> like... All right, so, like, the whole situation, like, if people don't know what the situation is, mm. you live under a fucking rock, first of all. Ah, Magic Star, like it. Yes. Like, <laughs> like, you, like, Steph lives under a rock. Like, <laughs> my wife, Steph, she, she lives, she's from Tom's River, which is, like, people from Tom's River think, like, Tom's River is, like, the best thing in the world. And Tom's River is, like... What, is that, like, south of us? Like, it's... From me in Riverside, it's like literally straight across the state. Okay. Over by the water. It's also not a beach town, and they consider it a beach town because you have to go one town east to get to the beach. So is it like near Seattle City? It's right by Seaside. Seaside. Okay. So like that's the closest beach, but they're not beach adjacent. Like they they are <laughs> beach town adjacent. Okay. So like they're. It's just like Milton, New Jersey. There's no, it doesn't exist. Anymore. Right. There's no, it's but north like, or south. There's so many things, like because Corey's fiance is from there too, mm. and we're finding that like Brittany and Steph have a lot of things in common that they've never heard of before, and they're from the same town. Weird town. Like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to be too rude and like aggravate people. The first time we talk to people, like I got a question for you. Speaking of the uh, situation, whose wife is worse, Jay or uh, Donnie's or Will's? Like, whose wife was worse? I don't know. Wait, who. who's? Uh, Donnie Depp or Will Smith. Whose wife was worse? Oh, whose wife is worse? Oh, that's really tough. I mean, she shit the bed, so. <laughs> you're you're allowed to laugh. Look, like, you, you, laugh. You, you, no, listen, go ahead. You, you exist. You're our, a person. Our homie like, Carter, he's the, he's the camera guy right now. He's in the back. His laugh is contagious. Just he's laugh. He's trying to hold he, it in. He knows that if he starts laughing, it's not gonna, gonna be great. You just gonna skyrocket. Like, who the fuck is that laughing in the background? <laughs> well, I literally have friends that are like, who's that guy with the laugh? Yeah. Like, they don't know anything about him except he has a they, laugh. They, everybody loves you to laugh. They're like, yeah, who's just laughing? Laugh. Like, just laugh. Do it! Do it! Stop! Did laugh! You, did you do it? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Don't hold it in. Let you're it out. Gonna, you're going to hear this, this like, boisterous 
scream from behind the camera, <laughs> and you're gonna be like, yeah, "Well, that's Carter. That's Carter." <laughs> so we got like kind of off track, but anyway. <laughs> so shit, where was I? Shit. The bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get back to that way later. All right, but anyway, I, I'm I have to go back to the Will Smith thing because I don't remember what I was talking about. All right. So the po- yeah, old bro, there's this podcast again. They have a notebook <laughs> and they write stuff down as they talk. Like, we should probably do that in the back. future. I literally brought a notebook and didn't br- put it here. Like, <laughs> Is it? That's worse notebook? than not having it. Notebook? Notebook. <laughs> it's in the backpack. It's in the backpack over there. You would have got the anyway, notebook. All right. So anyway, I really don't remember what I was talking about. So. So we went from, all right, so we're all talking right, about Will Smith. I'll go back to Will Smith Let's at the ahead. Oscars. Okay. Oh, living under a rock. Seth lived under a rock. Boom. That's how I got to say. SpongeBob. All right. So, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith has alopecia, which is an autoimmune disease. I did not know it was an autoimmune disease I didn't at the either. time. I had no idea. I right. found out later. But basically, it means you have difficulty growing hair. Mm-hmm. All right? Not like me. I had to shave my head. Like, you can't grow. I, there'd be nothing to shave. Like, it just, <laughs> there, there's nothing. Um, Chris Rock didn't know this, made a joke about G.I. Jane 2, which is about, is a movie with Demi Moore where she's in the military and she has nothing. It was a dope-ass movie, though. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I, I don't remember was... anything about it. I can just see, like, picture the, like, the poster. Right, that, yeah. With, G, with, like, her, like, her face in the forefront and, like, I don't even know what's going to think, but whatever. So he makes G.I. Jane a joke and, like... If you're watching the Oscars live, and if you piece together like the Oscars from different countries, because they all got little like a little bit different of like a, an angle and stuff, mm. you see Will Smith and Jada laughing right hysterically. Right, nothing was wrong from the American standpoint. In the U.S., all you got what like you got him laughing and her miserable to mm. the side, and then it cuts back to Chris Rock. And he's like, uh oh. And then, like, you're like, what are you talking about? And then Will Smith is there. And I'm like, I'm, I remember sitting in bed laughing. I never watch the Oscars. I have literally never. I didn't never, even know they're on. I've literally never watched the Oscars. I only watch this year because I, I watched all of the movies. Well, not all the movies, but all the relevant movies, except for Parallel Mothers. You'd think that the movie that was nominated for, like. Uh, Did what, you see King James? Uh, was it? Uh, King James? Not oh, King, King James. I'm sorry. King Richard, King Richard. King Richard yeah. was fantastic. And was he honestly phenomenal. deserved it, but yeah. I, I had another pick, but I'll talk about that later. Go ahead, um, But, like, the only one I hadn't seen was Parallel Mothers, and it was, uh, oh, Cruz. What's her first name? Whatever. Uh, no, Penelope Cruz. Uh, she was nominated for Best first Actress. Try. Yeah, and, <laughs> but it's not available anywhere unless you want to pay, like, $25, and I'm poor. I'm a teacher. I'll make a lot of money. I don't um, have any money. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so you see you see this and i'm like oh this is funny like he's gonna go up and like do something stupid yeah. like, like they're friends they've been friends for a long time and like i can remember like chris rock being on fresh prince like in the early 90s right like it, he he dresses up like his female cousin mm-hmm. and um like yeah. i forgot for a long time and then i remembered it like i had seen it and i was like oh yeah like that was a really good episode <laughs> And because when HBO Max came out, I binge watched them. No, like, HBO Max is a great like, series. I love it's HBO such a Max. Good series. Yeah. Um, but I, at some point, like the audio cut, and I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Like, this doesn't make any like, like I felt like it had happened earlier, and I was like, it's happening again. Like, I feel like this happens every year. I've never, even, I don't watch this, but I feel like there's some screw up every year. It's like, yo, y'all are the Oscars. <laughs> like, you're, you are a show about movies. Like, you should be the Get best at together. everything. <laughs> exactly. You should just be good at everything. Exactly. And, um, so I'm like, oh, that was, that, like, that was a joke. Like, that didn't really happen. <laughs> I don't, but I think it was more like, cause, like, every time he hosted or whatever, he was roasting Jada. He roasts everybody. Yeah, he did one. About yeah. Rihanna yes. and the panties. And he, and I was like, hey, yo, he's bro. He's like, like Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs> That shit had me crying, but I'm like, I don't know. I, I, and that's, like you said, they're friends. And it's, it's Chris Rock. And so that, well, go ahead. You finish the sentence first. Like, I, I feel like in comedy, I forget who's, oh, there's this guy, uh, Preacher Lawson. He was on, uh, uh, not, X, not X Factor, America's Got Talent. Okay. Like, we, we want a comedian to win every year. A comedian never wins. It's stupid. It sucks. But he's really good. And he did it like a TikTok, and he was like, "Nothing is off limits in comedy." 
Right. Nothing at all. And right. that's how I feel about movies. Like, there's nothing off limits. Like, you're going to appeal, like, you may appeal to, like, three people, a very niche group, mm. but you made a movie. I feel like, you know, like, it, as, like, between art, um, movies, music, you're an artist, so you should be free in your content. That's what, you know what I mean? It's, you just say whatever. Yeah, it's your, like, that's what you do. Especially comedians, like, it's, it's, uh, but then again, I feel like it's different times. The reality is you're going to offend somebody. Yep. Yeah. That's and your job. <laughs> I mean, like, there was a long time where, like, I didn't like cancer jokes because, like, my grandmother had cancer. Right. She's okay. Like, she's survived, but right. I didn't like cancer jokes. But the reality is, like, it's it can be funny. Mm-hmm. It's not like they're saying, oh, people with cancer are dickheads. Like, right. they're just making a joke. Like, that's their job. Right. But that's how I feel about, like, because I have my polar story, that's how I felt about that when people make like mental health jokes and I was like, that's not funny. But then it's like, you know, like, it's, it's a joke. So, like, sometimes when I, they make like mental health jokes and I'm like, oh, like, I'm, I'm retarded. Like, <laughs> like, like, I'm like, okay, it's kind of funny how stupid I am sometimes. Right. Sometimes you got, I like, I, I'd rather let them cry. Because, like, like honestly, my, like, my take on mental health is like, it, like, there's something wrong. Mm-hmm. But if I can laugh at it, it's not quite as wrong, <laughs> I guess. I feel like, uh, what is that song? Like, I'm the kind of guy that laughs at a funeral. I feel like it's just like dark humor. It's like, yeah. ah, this sucks, but ah, I'm laughing at it. I'm going to do the podcast <laughs> thing again. I'm going to go back to the podcast. Do it! I'm just saying, <laughs> so the podcast is called Pajama Pants. It's called Pajama Pants. So you got to shout us out. It, <laughs> yes, Pajama Pants. Robert Eiler, Jamie Lynn Sigler, and Cassim. Cassim's last initial is G. He never uses his last name. Just saying. Remember us. <laughs> Robert Eiler and Jamie Lynn Sigler played brother and sister in The Sopranos. Mm-hmm. Um, they grew up together. They're really good friends. They're very close. They're like like brother sister type thing. Mm-hmm. But so they told a story early on where like they had gone to like Kids Choice Awards or something, and apparently like the Kids Choice Awards is like very L A heavy. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of kids from L A, like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, stuff like that. Um, and they had been filming in New Jersey and New York for The mm. Sopranos, and they didn't know anybody. So they got pushed to the back of the theater, wherever they were at the time. And um, they, like, apparently Robert Eiler, like, had a really bad drinking problem, and at, like, 14 years old, he was drunk all the time. Oh. Like, he was, like, sneaking drinks from the open bar, and he was, like, like drinking tequila like- straight at, like, 13 or 14 years old. But regardless, so he was probably drunk. She... I, she was like 17 or 18 years old. She was still fairly young. And um, they're on the back of the thing, and somebody got on the stage and was talking in a, in a language they were unfamiliar with, uh, your, somebody from Europe. And they apparently were talking about, or whatever they were, I'll, I'll get to that, that they couldn't see the subtitles mm. for what the, the lady was talking about because they were so far back. Mm. And they got like the giggles. And they started laughing, and it got to the point where he described it as they were howling in the back and it turned out that like she was talking about how when she was a kid like she watched her parents get like kidnapped by the military and like hadn't seen them for years and she was like by herself for years and years wait that real like that was real was it like real oh shit (laughs) and like they were in the back laughing because they didn't know what was going on and they couldn't read the subtitles they're like your parents (laughs) so that was like like, laughing (laughs) and i can remember being a kid i had this friend tom we were super close I probably haven't seen him in like 15 years, mm-hmm. but any, like even b- like before high school, like maybe freshman year was like the last time I saw him. So right. yeah, maybe about 15 years. That's probably exactly 15 years. But um, I remember we I was supposed to go to church with his family one night, which was fine. Like I was young and I went to Catholic school, like I said, and like I didn't whatever. I don't I don't fucking go to church now. Um, he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't take attendance. He doesn't take attendance. <laughs> Okay. I mean, nah, it's like, uh, no, no, I, I was going to church for a while. It's like, it, you know. No, I, mean, I don't knock anybody that does it. No, my whole thing is this, like, my experience is like, I believe in God, and, you know, a lot of people say you need to go to church. I feel like it's just like school. Like, if you go to college, you go to class, but you don't go home and study it yourself. You know what I mean? I feel like yeah. you have to have your own personal relationship with God. But I feel like sometimes, not everybody, but I, not everybody, but sometimes people, they go to church, and I, it feels like, to me, it seems like they worship the pastor. Instead of like, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So like, Pastor Scott is awesome, <laughs> and then it's like, like I, I, there is like an actual Pastor Scott, <laughs> and I'm not like trying to screw you over, Pastor Scott, but I've never <laughs> actually met you, so. 
But I'm just like, sometimes I feel like people get missed, like, not misled, but they, they go and then they, 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 like, the pastor's a celebrity or whatever. It's like, okay, yeah. he's the man too. And if he messes up, everybody's like, I don't want to go to church anymore. It was like, yeah. well, you know what I mean? It's just. They're just like, they're human beings. Right. I think the best example is that we talked about Uncle Father Mike. <laughs> like, my wife's uncle is a, is a priest. He married us. and That man's a G. <laughs> like, he's awesome. Like, he's just a human being. Right. And, like, you Years ago in college, like somebody's like, you, you see a professor, and like they're just a professor to you. Right. You see a doctor, they're just a doctor to you. Like they have a life outside right. of yeah. like, regardless of how long they work throughout the day or how many days they work every every week, like they have a life outside of that. Like he he says mass a few times a week, and like yeah. he does marriages and and weddings and and stuff like that. But like he's a human being. Like, right. He, what he's supposed to like sit on his ass and be like. Like, look, just like Sarah God all day. Like, he's just got, like, stuff to do. He's, he's just got stuff to do. Like, okay, clock in the day. I gotta just. Like, they're not. <laughs> but, I, they, but you were saying that, that, like, brings back to celebrities. I feel like people forget that they're human. You know yes. what I mean? And it's just like, like, the whole. Like, I wanna be a director, as you know, whatever, mm-hmm. right? And I might act in my movies, but I don't want fame. I would like the money. I don't want to be like, because yeah. what if I'm walking down the street and I got to go to a, like a gas stop and they're like, oh, it's Patrick Broke because he's shitting in a, in a gas stop. No, I'm just taking a shit. My stomach hurt. I got the BGs. I'm going to go shit in a regular place. You know what I mean? Like, plus, I'm the kind of person, like, if I'm at an interview and you ask me some shit that I don't agree with, I'm going to let you know how I feel. I'm not going to be, oh, let me, no. Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up. Why are you asking me I don't questions? think I'm, I like, I don't really want to be, be, I think it'd be cool to be famous, but I don't think I'm prepared to be famous. Because you, you're gonna get those people that are like, "Oh, what well, you were drinking last week?" It's like, no shit. <laughs> and it's because of people like you, <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm drinking. <laughs> exactly. It's just like I don't know. I just feel bad for celebrities. But like the pandemic quarantine, that was horrible. But I feel like quarantine kind of like showed us, hey, yeah, they are human. Like you know, you see everybody with their hair dyed and everything. With quarantine, you see they got gray hairs and shit. Yeah, and. He- I think the person that I think put it in perspective better than anybody else was, like, Josh Gad. So, Josh Gad, like, every week did reunions. Like, he wasn't making any money off of it. Mm-hmm. He was probably, like, gaining fans and stuff. But realistically, he wasn't really gaining much out of it. Fans aren't paying your bills. Right. Unless it's a movie role and they're paying, like, uh, they're buying a ticket to go see your movie. Right. Um, but, like, he was getting reunions together, like, from the Goonies and, like, all these popular movies and television shows and he was doing like live streams and stuff like just basically to occupy people while they were stuck in their houses because like i remember early on like we were just stuck there yeah like i i remember it bro took... we're doing the uh <laughs> yeah there was this app called marco polo marco polo that was it marco polo and like dummy here was with my neighbor and his best friend like five thousand Marco Polos, and they're like, "Oh, there's good stuff going on." If you, hey, if, listen, if you look, <laughs> shut up. If you like watch all these Marco Polos, we'll watch this movie that you think we should watch. Nah, it's like, fuck that. It's you like, was some weird ass movies though. <laughs> it's called Love, and it's weird. Weird is that's an understatement. But the opening scene is a guy being jerked off by a girl. Oh yeah, and yeah. He comes into the camera. In the camera. Like, that's Look, it. Like, that's, that's, honestly, that's, like, I remember a lot of the movie, but that's the thing that you remember first vi- impressions. most vividly. First impressions. Yeah, I mean, that, but that's the point of that movie. But, it's, I mean, it's sex. That's all it is. It's it's titled Love, I think kind of ironically. I thought, you, it, I thought it's, you went to Pornhub. I, th- I thought you went to a Pornhub. It's, like it's, <laughs> not, it's not about love. It's about just banging people. <laughs> and, like, they're just unhappy, like, with everything. So you're just like depressed and just fucking. But it, it's like ironically <laughs> called love because it's not about love. And uh, it's like, I don't know. But yeah, so we'll get to the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp thing soon. We're going to take a quick break. Um, I was going to say something really vulgar and mean to you guys, but I'm not going to do that. Matter of fact, let's take that break and then we'll go back to being vulgar. <laughs> I can't be vulgar. I'm a teacher. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Peace. <laughs> and we are back. That seemed like a really long break. I don't know about you guys, but it felt like 40 minutes. 
It might have been. Sometimes you get in bed. You ain't been like a 30 minute lunch at work and shit. You know, that's what happens. You no, get... I, like the bell rings and I have to go back. That's whack. <laughs> I'm literally like on a bez, uh, bell schedule. Like a, like a child. That's just lame. <laughs> How, like, I couldn't do it, dog. <laughs> There's a lot of jobs I can no longer do. Retail, one of them. <laughs> I can't. No, like, so when I used to work in retail, people used to get an attitude to me. I would be honest with them and say, don't let this badge fool you. I give no fucks about this job. I will fight you on the clock and call that shit pay-per-view. I used to tell people that all the time. There's like, I get no point, like there are times I guess where I'm like, like I want to say stuff to people, but I'm like, I just won't have a house. <laughs> <laughs> I I care Dude, enough. It was funny, house. like, because when I started working at Comcast, it was like, the more money you make, the, the more shit you take. Because <laughs> she's like, my manager was like, so how yeah. you guys before Comcast? And I was like, I'd fight somebody on the crowd. I don't care. And then she was like, how about now? I was like, oh, this is a great company, you know. And she was like, what is the difference? I was like, $12 an hour to like $16, 17 an hour? Yeah. You, you take some shit. Like, all right, whatever. You got benefits and shit. I was like, I was getting no benefits. So fuck them. Right, so, so what did we leave off on? We left off on like Johnny Depp, not not Johnny Depp yet. We were on Will Smith. We were on Will Smith. But so. basically, so Will Smith is being abused emotionally, right. which is like the opposite end of the spectrum of Johnny Depp. Because he had a physical. Sure, there was some emotional stuff that comes with it, but it was I feel like it was intentionally physical. Um, and you asked me a question earlier, like who's worse, Jada Pinkett Smith or Amber Heard? Yeah. In your opinion, who's worse? And, like, honestly, did, did Jada I don't ever know. Shit bit, did Jada like, ever shit in his bed? No, but is is shitting in someone's bed worse than emotionally abusing them in front of the world? Definitely a second one. But I just imagine you sleeping and you wake right, up and no, then turn like, in your face. You're like, oh, no! Right, like, that's, <laughs> how, like, that's how you get pink eye. That's a, oh, absolutely. Like... <laughs> It's like that's what, like I don't even know what you get. Like if that's like if you like, fart on somebody's pillow. <laughs> fart. You, that's disrespectful, dog. Like, like, you don't fart on my pillow. But not like, like it's. I feel like emotionally, emo, like physical damage is horrible, but emotional damage. I is, feel like emotional damage is it's worse is because you worse. can't see it. You can't see it. Physically, yeah. like, oh, your leg hurt. Emotional damage is just like, oh, you're doing great. You're just like, nah, I mean, like Johnny Depp, you got your finger cut off. Like we understand you got your finger cut off. Right. That sucks. Right. But, like, I don't know. The fact that people, excuse me, people watched her defecate on his bed is a, what kind of people are you? <laughs> You're almost worse than her. Yeah. Like, that's, that's almost like the person, like, the people that are watching someone get raped. Right. Like, you're not doing the, the thing that's wrong. But you're so self-absorbed that you won't stop that thing from happening. Just like when somebody, like, was getting jumped and people were just walking around recording. It's like, that's just not supposed to happen. I went to high school with somebody. I won't say what school or what his name is because I don't want to, like, put him out there. But he, Jimmy Johnson. He went He went to, like, a pretty prestigious school. Like, uh. was a pretty good athlete. And he ended up getting kicked out of the school because he watched somebody get raped and didn't do anything about it. How can you just... I don't understand how you can just watch somebody get raped and just be okay. Like, right. That's I don't understand. Like that. I watched a movie today where a dog got kicked and like I wanted to jump through the screen and kill the guy. Have you ever seen John Wick? <laughs> no, I actually haven't seen John Wick. Oh, I ain't gonna spoil I need to see John Wick, and now there's like a second spin off show coming from John Wick. Is there? Yeah, with Anna Anna I don't know how you actually say her name. Anna Diarmas, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. But I, the... I watch this bad name with her. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as the <laughs> Have you seen Deepwater? I have not. It's her and Ben Affleck. Who Ben Affleck I've hated for years and years. I don't know why people hate him. So, not that I hate him, but I think he's just overrated. I think he's a very average actor. Okay. Um, And I didn't love him as Batman. I thought he was just like a very okay Batman. I had no problem with him as Batman because it just reminded me of the old school, like, broody Batman. Like, how he was like... But I felt like he tried to do what Christian Bale had done. Which was new at the time and very good, and like it should just be Christian Bale's thing, like it didn't need to be Ben Affleck's thing also. But regardless, so he was in two movies in the past two years, year and a half maybe. He was in one called The Tender Bar, with uh, Ty Sheridan, and um, I think Chris Lloyd was mm-hmm. in it too. Um, and basically, Ben Affleck like owns a bar, 
and his nephew, Ty Sheridan, like, older, and then there's this little kid who's a fantastic actor. I don't remember what his name is. Um, but basically, he just, like, wants to step in and, like, be the father figure that doesn't exist in his life, and he just wants to make him the best person he can possibly be. Mm-hmm. And Ben Affleck is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Like, if I... I would have voted for him for best actor for 2021. Nice. Um, yeah, check it out. Like, and then... Is it on, like, HBO Max or anything like It's that? on... I think it's on Amazon Prime. Okay. And then he just did one as a Hulu original with Ana de Armas. Um, that's how I'm going to say her name. I don't know if that's right. Ana de Armas. That sounds, like, kind of sexy. And that's <laughs> that's what I'm going to say from now on. Wait, speaking uh, of Will uh, Smith, though, did you watch Bel Air at all? The new one? No. Did you... Why... why okay, why didn't you watch it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> like... Nah, it's one one of my friends. They were. Uh, I'm not really opposed to it. I just they were upset about it because they were. It's way darker, right? Yeah, but people were like, and, and she like thought that it was going to be the same as the old one, and I was like, Reap, no, it's not. <laughs> no, and like I'm, it's really good. Like, it's yeah, really good. I'm not though. opposed to it. I just don't have tons of time. Like I watch a ton of movies. Like I literally watch at least one movie every day, and I just don't have enough time. So I don't have time to dedicate to a whole series. Makes sense. Like I have to watch like the Marvel shows every week because you know. So you watch Moon Knight? I have watched Moon Knight. Have you? It's, uh... it's my least favorite of all of the Marvel shows so far. Cool. Did I don't watch... want to say what happened because. Did you watch the most recent one? Yes. That to it me was the best one. To me that that episode was like all right now I'm, now I'm because I, I was about to write it off. I didn't one of the guys I work with. Uh, at the school, he actually had he had, had his own site a couple years ago, maybe like eight or nine years ago now, where he did movie reviews and stuff like that. And his issue with the Marvel is they don't take enough risks. But I feel like if that's your issue, you have to watch Moon Knight because that's a huge risk. That was a huge risk. It's a hundred percent an emotional thriller instead of like an action packed thing. Um, My whole thing is like better in that sense, I guess. Every except essentials, <laughs> but every Marvel movie that I've watched, I've always been like, oh, I'm, I'm focused Did on Do you not it. like Eternals? It, if I had a rank between all the Marvel movies that I've watched. You think it, it's the worst one? I, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I think the first two Thors and Hulk are worse. Okay, yeah, yeah, hold on, yeah. Wait, so Thor, Dark Elves, you said the Wish Hulk, the Hulk, the original Hulk? The, the, yeah, the, the Incredible Hulk. I don't, that didn't happen. Don't That's the one with, Eric, with not with Eric Banner. With uh, Edward Norton. And I don't. That didn't happen. So now I'm like, <laughs> I actually just watched one with Eric Banner for the first time. Better. The, what the first the first one where they had the big ass dogs? That one you talking about? Yeah. That, that shit was trash. It's not good. Hulk but it's trash. Better. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's better. It's a better story. I like Ed, Edward Norton as. I don't mind Edward Norton. Apparently he's. No, I don't want to say he's a dick because I don't know him. But apparently he wanted to be paid as much as Robert Downey Jr., who, <laughs> who is, like, the flagship Marvel character yeah. and, like, essentially the centerpiece. If you haven't watched Endgame at this point, spoiler, he dies. He is... What? He <laughs> makes the whole, like, 12 years. Mm-hmm. 11, yeah. 11 years, because 2008 and that came out in 2019. Right, he did his thing. But, like, you're not going to... You shouldn't be overpaid like you shouldn't be paid as much as robert downey jr because i think he made maybe too much money he made like 75 million dollars for infinity war good for him whatever they had to, good for him. They had to get him well this is they shit. had to because they couldn't afford it if no one should be paid as much as him yeah. if anybody should be paid close to as much it should have been either chris hemsworth but, or chris evans right it should not have been this like tertiary character in the grand scheme of things i love that I feel like what's her name got a uh, dipped off though. Uh, Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. She did, and her movie was not as good as it could have been simply because you knew what happened to her. I like the movie a lot. I like the movie. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure I gave it an eight and a half. On the time I have, I, I think, think I gave it eight and a half. Yeah. Good movie, um, but I, I think <laughs> I think it would have been better if I didn't know what happened. To Absolutely. Me. If you haven't seen Endgame, spoiler, she dies. If you haven't seen <laughs> Like, honestly, you had about a half a second to shut this shit off. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm, three years removed. I'm so for get, a soul. Get with the program. Get your shit together. God. You people. 
That's like <laughs> Patrick, you live under a rock if you haven't seen that shit. Yet. Patrick Stewart. It. Nah, I just like the fact that like they pretty much was like, all right, the baby sister stepping up to be the next one. I thought it was pretty yeah. cool. I thought they all shared the screen very well. There wasn't nobody like. Oh, but I'm I feel more. like she was outshined a little by bit. Florence Pugh. It is, in fact, it, <laughs> it, is, is, it, is, yeah, it is Because I literally watched her pronounce her name because I didn't know. I watched it. And I, I feel like I didn't trust it until she said it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I feel like, uh, I feel like she a little bit, a little bit, but it's like you're bringing her into the next, you Yeah, know that's, I mean? so, that's kind of the point. Yeah. She's but like passing all was, the mantle. The one thing I didn't like, though, was like, it was like Taskmaster was a throwaway character. She was. Now, Chris I, Cody I, was a he in the cartoons. I mean, yes. that's not really that 100, important. 100% it was a he. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I was just like, Taskmaster's a boss. Why would you yeah. just throw him away? They just, like, you know, manipulate the story until it, it meets. And it was kind of like, what was the purpose of telling the story right now? <laughs> yeah, I think it was honestly just a way for Atlanta to be, like, part of the MCU. Yeah. But David Harbour's a fantastic actor. Yeah. The one that plays Alexi. Mm-hmm. He's so good. <laughs> like, he's such a good actor. He's in Stranger Things. Have you seen Stranger Things? Yeah. Yeah, Stranger Things is good. My favorite part is when he was just like, uh, when, uh, what was his name? Uh, what was the Pew's character? Elena? Elena? Elena. Y- Elena. When they were having a conversation in the room mm-hmm. and she was like, you just care about your crimson diamond hours? He was like, the Red Guardian. Like, he just couldn't let it go. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite parts of the movie. But it was like, yeah. I feel like they, they did a great job. It was just certain things were just like, all right, so you got this dude who can block your, like, sense of you and want to kill him. Yeah. It was just like, eh. But overall, like the backstory about how they grew up together and they got separated, and it was just like that. Was yeah, the it makes sense. Yeah, and that's uh the one that plays black, like the young version of Black Widow is uh, Mila Jovovich's daughter. Um, uh, she's like from uh, Resident Evil. Am I the uh, the the, right the, the, the the main lady? She's all, yeah, she's from uh oh shit oh uh, shit what's it called? What's the movie with Bruce Willis and Chris Rock? Uh, Fifth Element. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Her. Yeah. Um, that movie was overrated. What? <laughs> that was a dope ass movie. Uh, no, not, not for you. It wasn't you? I think that might have been before I like gave movies ratings, but I I think I'm. I made a given. So, like, what's your favorite movie? Like, uh, like, okay, that's a good transition because that's what I wanted to get there eventually. And you, ah, we in there. <laughs> um. All right, I have a list right here. <laughs> Do you want me to go first? You want to go first? Well, I want to go first, obviously. Ladies first. Your mom. Mama! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is not in any particular order. Right. There's one specific movie that I want to talk about. Okay. So, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, Episode 5. I I like cling to that as being my favorite movie because it's been my favorite movie forever. I don't know if it's actually my favorite movie anymore, mm-hmm. but it's the best Star Wars movie, without a doubt. If you're like this guy, Dave Richmond, who thinks that Return of the Jedi is the best one, um, my man said that ain't it, Chief. <laughs> Avengers, <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Mm-hmm. You know who died in that? Uh, no, who, who died? You want me, want me to say it again? <laughs> like, like, I just want to make sure everybody knows who died. Like, I just spit it. They happened, <laughs> it like happened to miss it the first time. You want me to do it again? Um, so one of the good ones, which mm-hmm. is like this indie film uh, directed by Jesse McKinney. Um, this guy out in like San Diego. And it's him, and I, for the life of me, I can't remember her name, and I, I apologize. Um, but also Sam Jones is in it, who plays uh, Flash Gordon. And, <laughs> like, so I, t- I, I actually met with Jesse ah. one time, and I'm going to call him one time. We're on a podcast. I have his number. You do? I, I feel like really important that I have his number. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, like, so he asked Sam Jones to be in his movie, and Sam was like, nah, it's, like, it's kind of a far travel, and I don't like want to travel that far for this indie film and he was like no no worries it's like not a big deal and then the wife was like no you're go- you're going to do this <laughs> you're going to do this movie for jesse <laughs> so he did it and he so like they drove to him and they they shot near him mm. um but great movie it's about like addiction and love and stuff like that and it's like you ever seen ted i have seen ted <laughs> that was <with> me <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so funny when i watched ted 2 with dave in theaters I missed, like, the first ten minutes. Why? Because when they're sitting at the bachelor party, and he's like, that's somebody's daughter. I lost it. I didn't hear anything. 
for a very long time. Like, I don't know. We had to rewatch it because I missed most of, like, the opening montage. I can't remember. Was it the first one or the second one when he was dating the, uh, the lady from his job? Both. Both, right? Yeah. But... <laughs> Well, the start... Remember when he was guessing all the names? The, the, yeah, the, so the start of the second one is their wedding. Right, 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 yeah. yeah. That shit was... The, uh, so Mila Kunis had like me the party. <laughs> That Sam... Yo, I asked him, I asked me that shit for real, though. <laughs> it was like, ah... Uh, like, yes or no? <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> if it ain't green and fluffy, I don't want to hear me. He said no. <laughs> they were like, at the party, I was like, I like to hang out. <laughs> what you uh, but I'm not done yet, fuck. Oh, my bad. Like, uh, so, Palm Springs. My little pony. <laughs> Jason loves My Little Pony. I know. It's that, not a bad show, though. That weirded me out a little bit. It's not a bad... I like him. Look, I'm a big kid. He was kid. a great roommate, but... I, I'm like, a big kid. I like cartoons and everything. My Little Pony. Uh, but yeah, I didn't say that. But I said that quiet enough that the people were like... My Little Pony! <laughs> so, Palm Springs uh, with An- uh, Andy Samberg. Mm-hmm. Is a, have you seen that? I don't think so. Have you seen that? He's he's nodding because he's... Hey, Carter! Uh, he's cultured. Cop. Can I play cop for sure? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't seen it. So it's Andy Samberg. I really don't want to ruin anything. It's a comedy. It's Andy Samberg type comedy from like Saturday Night Live type stuff. But it's really emotional. Yeah, you almost uh, rose the panels from there. Really emotional. It yeah. does it. It's really good. Um, but then the movie I want to talk about is Encanto. I feel like I'm five years old. Can't talk about that. But we you can't, can't talk about Bruno. Bruno. No. All right. Talk about the rest of the family. Fuck that. My opinion with that movie is Bruno was the best character in the game. I'm going to explain to you why. All he did was keep it real with everybody. He and did. people were mad as shit about it. I thought my fucking fish right. died. The fuck? <laughs> they, ain't, <laughs> they ain't got nothing to do with him. He just did his job. So, you asked him a question, he was like, oh, this happened. Like, last time I saw you guys, which feels like it's months ago. Right? But it was only like a couple weeks ago. Was it? it? was Emily's birthday thing. Right, 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 right. So it was like early April. It's yeah. been less than a month. But we watched it. Have you finished it? Are we still in April? <laughs> He's going to watch it later. Um, so I, I thought about giving it a 10. You, is the what is only, your deal? What I, you don't like giving people 10s. I won't give a movie a 10 because that means that nothing is ever better than it. You remember like, the time you, we was in class together and the teacher gave you a B? She, she gave me a C. I thought she gave you a B. No, I would have been okay with a B. Are you sure? Because I swore she gave you a yes, B. Yes, because I didn't give out handouts and she was like, you lose one, like one letter grade for that. And I was like, that makes sense. I didn't give handouts because I want people to focus on me. I realized it was a requirement, but I didn't do it for a specific reason. No, but no, I'm no. okay taking the penalty. But, and then she goes, I said, well, why did not Why did I get a C? She's like, because I gave you a C. And I was like, well, what did I do to lose another she letter had no... And she was like, she, I think she... You're wearing glasses in class, I man. can't say that. I have to be like, not, not... What are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> But, I, yo, what got me was she was like, well, you're not passing, but you're not failing? Like, what does that even mean? She didn't know anything. She didn't. She knew nothing. Like, honest. so her favorite author was Sylvia Plath. I remember this because I'm pretty sure it was a reflection of her. Sylvia Plath killed herself. Okay? So, so um, I don't mean that. I ain't gonna say it. I can't. That's the route you go, bro. I don't mean this. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm, I'm well, really, you're doing a very I'm good really, job at it. I'm really not right now. I'm sorry for laughing. And, like, what I was going to say would be way worse than this, I promise. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Um, All cameras. And I, I, have a fil- I have a filter. As a teacher, you need a filter. But anyway, so she was obsessed with Sylvia Plath. It was oh, her favorite geez. author. We probably read two dozen poems from Sylvia Plath. Yeah, we did. Like, it was the first thing we read. It was the last thing we read. Mm. And Sylvia Plath was, like, really depressed and really uncomfortable with who she was and, like, had daddy issues. Well, like, really just, like, kinda... like, just, like, simplify it. Like, she had really, like, serious issues with her dad mm-hmm. who, like, hated her and, like, left her and kicked her out and stuff. Um, and I feel like the fact that she loved and, like, she Sylvia Plath resonated with her so much was a reflection of her. I was mad because, you know, uh, I forget her name, but she did... Kanye West for her, you know, report and is I want, yeah, and I wanted to do uh, Lupe Fiasco, but she said rap music is not poetry. I said, ah, <laughs> excuse the fuck out of me. What the hell are you talking about? Yes, it is. She was like, no, that's not real poetry. So I ended up doing Walt Whitman. Fun fact: I didn't study none of that shit, bro. Fun fact: He has a bridge. You know, he has a bridge in New Jersey. Yeah, that's that's all Pat knew. <laughs> I did, I got there. I was like, Walt Whitman. 
has a bridge in New Jersey. <laughs> he also writes poems. <laughs> uh, Delaware didn't really want to help with the, the Border Patrol, didn't want to make the bridge, but he got it. Any questions? <laughs> and the thing is, I literally printed that out before we get to class. <laughs> I hate that class. Those two, this is boring. His, his question for everybody that wants to know. She asked like everybody one question. Maybe a couple questions. What, what, what was my question she asked me? Like, how did the poetry make you feel? <laughs> she was over there like... Which I what? guess was a relevant question. Like, how does it make you feel? That's a point of poetry to make you feel something. That's fine. I'm okay with the question. <laughs> my question was, I did William Shakespeare. First of all, it wasn't just one question she gave you. I did William Shakespeare, but the question I remember specifically was she goes, in comparison to Petrarch, how did William Shakespeare's styles in sonnets differ from the from from Petrarch? Like, I, 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 like, do you know who Petrarch is? Nah. Do you know who Petrarch is? He, it, he, he created <laughs> he created the sonnet. He was Italian. He created the sonnet. Fourteen lines. All right. Ending with a couplet. Like people, not everybody knows this. I do. Yo, and I gotta but kudos see. to you, because she was just throwing the hardest I, questions. I should, she was just shutting them shits down. I, I should be like, I don't know who that is. I would have gotten the same grade. I think I got a C, too. You did? <laughs> that was like, when, when, when I don't, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know this. He'll never watch this. But just in case he does, Anthony, your nickname is Galactus. All right? <laughs> because you're huge. <laughs> you're not fat you're just really tall oh okay. god it's, it's honestly if you think about it that's not a disrespectful thing he's just a big dude he's like, like what six four at least yeah. at least he's a big guy um but like, like we did a i i took a, a an african-american literature class with him mm-hmm. and we we had to go to some sort of it had to be a play or a music. It had to be some type of a live performance that had to do with African American culture. Mm-hmm. And we, there happened to be like a show, like a, a jazz performance. I guess it was the PAC Center, the Performing Arts Center in Newark. We went there. We took the subway. First of all, I paid. He didn't. Okay, that was strike one. Okay, I paid and he did not. That just reminds me of a and funny story. So we get there, <laughs> we watch the same performance, we both left early, we both like wrote almost identical things, and I get a D and he got a C. And I got the same answer as that other one. I still remember what her name was. Did you wear sunglasses? In, in I didn't. No? Just I didn't. <laughs> and... Girl, I, don't, I don't know what it was about the glasses. She just hated you, dog. She, well, it was it was the glasses. Like I was in, kind of intentionally disrespectful, but from the from the gate, you I could have been way worse. Could have. Are we okay on time? Y'all got seven minutes left. Oh, okay. So well, who? What was that voice? Right? Whose voice was that? Get out of <laughs> Get out of his ass! <laughs> Bang everybody in this corner. <laughs> we, might, we might have to do a third session for this. But anyway, I'm all right, so I'm going to go back to Encanto, because I'm going to get deep for a minute. Let's get deep. All right, so Encanto <laughs> might be my favorite movie of all time. I never even got to tell you about my, my favorite movie of all time. Would you believe first? It could be a whole show later. Just real quick, it's the Iron Giant. Oh, I knew that. I love the Iron Giant. <laughs> it's, it's a good movie, but I don't know. Fuck you, don't you dare. <laughs> all right? The Iron Giant is it's the just shit. Vin Diesel grunting into the microphone nah. for hours. Nah, dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like I don't know what it, like it was. I could do that voice acting. It's like, <laughs> and my voice is terrible. <laughs> nah, I don't know what it was like. I, it just it was always a good movie to me. That and Jungle Book. Jungle Book's my shit. Too. Like the cartoon. Yeah, I love that. one. That new one was fucking horrible. The new Lion Live Action Lion King. Let me tell you something real quick. Real quick, then you get you do your thing. Best character in live action Lion King was the little beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Best fucking character. Let me explain to you why. This motherfucker went through shit, lost his shit, and they got his shit together at the end. If that don't sum up life, I don't know. Did you see him at the end? He was standing on a little turtle ball. I honestly don't remember it that. Was it a dung beetle? Yeah. Okay, I don't remember it. But you remember well. Rafiki picked the shit up and he had to start over again? I'm like, bro, like... That's Is that up. when he was like on Simba's face? Yeah, like, he's picking up shit. And dumb beetle. He was doing Johnny Depp wife things. He just picking up shit. <laughs> just, <laughs> but no, he was the best character. He went through shit, lost his shit, 
got his shit back and he was on top of the shit at the end of the movie. I loved it. Theme of this, the movie shit. Yeah, the lying shit. I was fucking everybody else. Like, once like he stopped doing the scene, nothing else mattered. It to should me. just be retitled Life. <laughs> right? <laughs> shit happened. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the best character. And then it was like when they sung the song, it was a disaster in the air. Yeah, it, wasn't, it, wasn't it was a disaster. Right. It, it wasn't that. It, was, it wasn't as good as the animated film, for sure. It was trash. You know, they've scrapped all the animated films. Or, I'm sorry, not the animated films. The, all the remakes of the animated films. They scrapped them? Yeah, well, because... the live action versions of they're them? They're not going to do any more live actions because apparently they came across something in a vault that Disney had written years and years ago before he died that the animated films were meant to stand alone. There was never supposed to be a remake, never supposed to be sequels, and they're like, we're never going to do any more because that was Disney's wishes. That was like in the last couple of weeks. He's like, well, no, but you know what I mean? He's frozen somewhere. He'll, he's going to come he's back. Gonna come he's going to come back. Like, oh, you motherfuckers. He's, he's going to be like, he's, he's going to kill somebody. Um, but El Conte. Oh, El Conte. El, El, El Conte. What do you, like, El, well, was, you know what I'm talking about. El, El Conto. El Conto. Yeah, I don't so know El why. Canto. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I don't know for sure if it's my favorite movie of all time. There's nah, def- you were singing I feel every like song, though. definitely movies. They're always stuck in my head. A different mo- a different song, like, every day is stuck in my head. And right now, it's uh, Isabella's song. That's that shit. Um, <laughs> and it's the one where she, like, makes the cactus. Did you get that far? You got that far. Okay, I'm not running anything. Um, we don't care about you guys. We just care about whether Carter has seen it or not. Yeah, you guys didn't see it. I'm about to. <laughs> he's laughing. He, he's about to laugh, but he's laughing. Put some text in the video, just ruining the end for everybody else. <laughs> we're just gonna piece together like when Carter was laughing, and we're just gonna put like text in here. La- Carter's laughing. Like, <laughs> right? That's all you can see. Carter's laughing. We're just gonna put. A super, Ooh, we should put like a little arrow pointing to him with his face up here, and it's just gonna be him laughing. We're gonna catch him, and we're gonna. You know how to do that? I know how to do that shit. <laughs> Green screen the fuck out your head. Just cut that shit out as you laugh. We're, we're not gonna like actually decapitate you. We're just gonna like throw your, your <laughs> head up. We'll throw your whole body up there if that makes you feel want. better. We could do it. No body. <laughs> but anyway, so there's all these characters, and I relate to all of them in different ways. Dang. So the four characters I relate to, I relate to Mirabelle, who mm-hmm. is the main character, her sisters, Isabella, who is considered perfect, Louisa, who's super strong, and Bruno. Bruno is like the outcast of the family. Black sheep of the Mirabelle family. is also kind of the outcast of the Black Sheep of the So that's Steph's favorite line. Louisa, <laughs> 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 the dog is out again. <laughs> that's Steph's favorite line. Like, she'll be half asleep and she'll be like, Louisa, the dog is out again. But wait. <laughs> but Carter was like, why did she get the ass like that? I was like, <laughs> I was like what is wrong with this man, yo? Carter's laughing. Just, get that <laughs> just picture it right here. He's right here. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make him sit over here. Like, just stand here and laugh. We should do that for the episode. Like, every time it's like a laugh track, just have Carter's laugh. <laughs> yes. We don't need to write her laugh track like Friends or something. It's just a big Carter. But you're not going to know what's going on. You're like, <laughs> you're gonna, If you don't hear anything that's happened. Uh, we're yeah. we're going to lose like 10% of our show because we're just going to have to pause and wait for Carter to stop. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to get fans like, who's that guy laughing? We should get um, Carter laughing and put it on his shirt. But so, all the different personalities. So you have Mirabelle who doesn't have any gifts. Right. She feels like the outcast. She doesn't fit in because she's the only person in the family that doesn't have a gift. Right. You have Louisa who is super strong and like everything is just kind of thrown on her and mm. she is expected to just... Kind of carry the whole squad. Carry everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, Isabella, who is perfect, which seems awesome, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna compare myself to her because my grandparents have always told me that I'm perfect. Hold on for one. And second. I'll come back to that in a minute. And then you have Bruno, who everything he does is considered wrong. Right. And Whether we... intentional or not, that's what happens. I think we take a quick break. Mm-hmm. And we'll come back. We'll finish this conversation real quick. All right. I won't take up too much of your time. I might. Look, man. We can talk about this all day. It was just a wedding day. <laughs> that didn't seem as long as a first break. It wasn't. I just had a, had a pee. I didn't have to pee, guys. Was, was he didn't have enough time. Well, I think we may have figured it out, like, between break one and break two, so... Well, you know how you at work, you get, like, a half an hour, and then you get, like, a 15-minute break, and then, you know, I don't know, sometimes... We, we went from a half an hour to... 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. That's all we needed. We're efficient. Absolutely. 
That's, that's a pay word, right? I like I like it. Feels like I said earlier. I should know all the words. <laughs> I I want to know all the words. Just get a dictionary. And just I actually I, no no joke. My mom was a secretary at a school, the Ooh. school that I went to growing up, Ooh. and uh, she would have to go to school all summer and like do stuff with the principal and whatever. And I spent a few weeks one summer like legit copying down all the words in the dictionary. Oh wow! I only got to like e. But it's still that's like, a lot of words. words. Yeah, I just, I'm telling you, just do what Carter does. Every week, Carter has a new phrase with a new word in it, and he like yeah. he said he don't do it on purpose, but I think I feel like he does. So they apparently make this like toilet paper that like <laughs> has like a, a word of the day on it. I'm not checking out my toilet paper like that. Like, do I have enough or do I not? Like, that's all I care about when it comes to toilet paper. Um, what if it's still like wipe your whole ass? There, there's, <laughs> <laughs> but like. I, I, there's got to be a way to learn a word every day. There's yeah. got to be like an email subscription or something. Probably. Or app. has to be. It's got, or an app. Has to be. But I don't want to open the app. I don't want to open the app. I don't want to open the email. I just want it to like appear on my screen and it just be there for me. I wonder if you can set like an alarm. Like when you wake up in the morning, it'll be like a new word when you wake up. I, I'm sure. There's got to be. That's your job right now. Can you figure out if there's like a subscription, like a text thing or an email thing? You gotta let us know while, while we're filming. Just in case you guys don't know, I'm gonna plug those people when they. Just, like, just in case you guys thing. don't know, uh, Carter's laughing. <laughs> 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 we're gonna get him to laugh out loud. You guys are gonna love it. Maybe we don't want him to laugh because they, not, they don't want to hear what he has to say anymore. About us anymore. Like, like, just, like, shut the fuck make up. Car- make, car- <laughs> make, car- <laughs> make Carter laugh. <laughs> I thought I was going to care about but shut the fuck up. Like, okay, sorry. What are you, fast forward to Carter laughing. This is going to be bits. <laughs> the compilation of him just laughing and shit. All right, I, I promise I wouldn't take up all the time with the Encanto stuff. Hey, look. All right, so you have Mirabelle, who is the outcast. Right. Mirabelle expresses herself, and no matter what she does, like, Grandma goes ape shit on her. And it's like, whatever, you did this, don't do that anymore. You did this, don't do that anymore. Whatever you're doing, don't do it anymore. Grandma's an asshole. Like, yeah, and you, I mean, I'm playing. She, you understand why? No, though. no, I, I, but you I can't just, say why. I just did that, right? That's yeah, why I did because yeah, yeah. Carter hasn't seen the whole thing yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, see, we care. We do. We care about you so much. Love you, buddy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like, we, uh, I relate with her in that way. Where like, I feel like all these things that I'm trying to do to help people, I, I fuck it up. Okay. And I know that's not the reality all the time, but that's sometimes sometimes how I feel. Right. Then you have Louisa. Louisa, I relate to the most. That's the strong one, right? Yes. Mm. Like, her song, Surface Pressure, is the, the best song of the movie. She it's, rem- not, it's not the Bruno song. Right. She reminds me of, and I didn't mean to cut you off, but that aspect kind of reminds me of my, my sister, in a sense, because she's always been the one that, like, it has to get done, she's going to make it happen. She just, like, no matter what, she's going to make it happen. But inside, she's just like, there's a lot of pressure on her. But it's even more than like physically getting things done. Yeah. It's like, oh, Steph has a problem. Steph tells me. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm here for. That's right. that's why I married her. So that she, like, not that's not the reason. But like, love. that's one of the reasons is that like I want to her. I want her to be able to vent and tell me. Right. Something. Absolutely. So like, yes, I get that. Yeah. My mom has stuff that's going on. She tells me. Right. My grandfather. He tells me. My grandmother, she tells me, aunts, uncles, everybody, they just tell me. Right. And, like, that great, I'm glad that they trust me enough with that stuff. But at some point, it gets so heavy that, like, you're just like, I have my own stuff I got to deal with. Right. But my stuff comes last. It always ends up coming last. You got to, you got to, because I was, I was kind of like that. It's like, you got to make sure you put you first. Like, because if you're not good. Nobody else is. Right, right. <laughs> like, when she starts to break down, and, like, she starts to lose her power, her, her like, her gift, everybody else falls apart. Right. She like, what's-his-name right? can't propose, like, nothing can happen, she can't move the, the thing over, dude doesn't get his donkeys back, and, like, <laughs> like nothing works out. <laughs> and that donkeys. was a bad accent, but... <laughs> that big was a little bit racist, but... <laughs> Uh, it wasn't intended to be racist. It was intended. <laughs> if I'm gonna get canceled, it's probably gonna be tonight. <laughs> so, I gotta double uh, down on your nonsense. I guess we're have, going out. <laughs> then you have Isabella, right? Who is perfect mm-hmm. in every way. Everything she does is perfect. Doesn't matter what she does. It's all. It always ends up being exactly as planned. Right. Uh, 
that's how I feel with my grandparents. I had like a really deep conversation with my mom. I've never said this before to anybody. My grandparents have told everybody forever since I was born that I was perfect. And that That's a lot of pressure. Pe- people don't ever look at it that way. Mm-hmm. Like it's pressure to like, oh, you can't do anything wrong. Like you screw up and they're like, oh no, he's perfect. That's okay. No, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah. It's the opposite. Like I ha- like they have an expectation and I have to live up to it. And the expectation is perfection. Like right. there's not anything less than that is not okay. Um, yeah, that's tough. And then Bruno, who, God, like, I literally watched it the other day. I had off the other day when Seth had I, on spring when I was on spring break and Seth had work and I sat there and I watched and content by myself. I, I love that movie. Like I said, I I just, I've watched Rocky. I know you do. Like, Cause you usually don't I, sing along with stuff and like you. Was... I swear to God, I sat there and I bawled. No, cause like, I cried for like twenty minutes, mm-hmm. and I've never, no movie has ever made me do that. Like I've watched Click a bunch of times, and that always makes I me cry a little I, bit. I like, can't at the watch end. Click. Like I, it, I always get choked up. I always get a little upset at that. Like it, it, it. Like for me, it's like once my my dad passed away, I can't watch Click. Yeah. It, it hits different. I can't. I try. I try. Yeah. It is a great movie, but when I get to a certain problems. From I like can't. day one, that's always upset me. Yeah. Like that one particular scene, you know what scene it is. Yeah. Um, but I'm counting like I'm bawling, like I'm sobbing. Mm-hmm. Like the last time I, the only time I can ever think that I cried like that, other than like when I was a child, was like when my grandmother passed away, like last year. Mm-hmm. Like, like can't get my shit together. Right. Uh, unbelievable. And the one, so there's a few times when it happens. There's one time at the very end, which I won't spoil for certain people. Cars Latin. <laughs> <laughs> but like the Bruno scene where there's a tiny crack in the wall and he can see the rest of the family mm-hmm. at the table and he has like a it's drawing yeah. on his table and like. He just sits there because he wants to be with his family. He wants to be with his family, yeah. Like, he just wants to be accepted for who he is. And that's ultimately the theme of the movie, is you just want to be accepted for who you are. And those are the four characters that are trying to be accepted for who they are, who they want to be. You have other characters that are, that are good, like... I feel like they, Disney did a great job with... Because sometimes it's like, you you be in your own stuff so much that you don't look at everybody yeah. else. And I feel like Disney did a great job, like other people have these problems. It's like, damn, I didn't know this person would feel this way. I didn't know the strong person really feels weak on the inside because they're, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and that's why I like, it made me, it made me sad certain parts too because it's like, damn, like, like I said, from my, like, my sister's always had the strong one and it's like, seeing that, it's like, damn, so is this how she feels at times? You know what I mean? Because like, sometimes, like I said, sometimes you be in your own shit that you don't realize that, hey man, people feel like this. And there's little things every time when you watch it that you're like, Oh, like that makes sense. Like that's even deeper. Mm-hmm. Like there's one thing that I caught. It's right after the house starts to crack after the attempted proposal, and they all run out. Like they're all losing their powers and they don't know what to do. And they all look at Mirabelle and they're like, "What did you do? Why did you do that, Mirabelle?" Right. And Luis is like, "What? Like what's wrong with me? Like she's the one person that's like introspective and is like, wh- like wh- why? How am I fucking up this family? And she's done nothing wrong." Right. Nothing at all. Right. Everybody that's okay is blaming somebody else, and the person who actually hasn't done anything else is blaming herself. The other way wants to be the villain in her own story. Right. I know. And it's like, I always tell people this, like, when you, regardless if it's a breakup, whatever you go through, sometimes you gotta sit back and say, hey, this happened, this happened, but where, was I wrong? I'm not saying you're gonna be wrong all the time. Yeah. But you gotta reflect, because sometimes you may like, oh, I didn't realize I was wrong there, but some people just don't want to reflect, and I'm like, why? You're never going to be right all the time. I don't know why people are afraid to be wrong. It's like, if you learn how to ride a bike, did you automatically come out doing Willis? No, you had to learn how to fall, yeah. get up, and get on again. It's okay to be wrong. And it's just, I don't understand why that's hard for people. Yeah. I was really bad at riding a bike when I was younger. But, uh, <laughs> bad, bad. I was like, I was like, I was like nine when I learned how to ride a bike. I was... Did you like fall off all the time? Well, my parents wanted me to try to learn how to ride on the grass. And I weighed like 12 pounds as a child. And I didn't like I didn't have the strength. I was like, <laughs> like trying to pedal through the grass. 
And it, then they would like pressure me, like, you're not going to Six Flags tomorrow if you don't ride your bike. And I'm like, well, guess I'm not going to Six Flags tomorrow. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to go to Six Flags. And like, I'm trying to pedal my bike. And I'm like, well, life sucks. You know what's funny? When I was a kid, like, I already knew Santa Claus is real. But my mom. Spoiler. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> Carter didn't know that. You didn't know? Oops. <laughs> you, you can say no. You can make him you feel can be, bad. He's laughing. If you if he actually did something wrong, you can tell him. You can tell him. But yeah, so my mom wanted me to clean my room one time. And I do see that I seen her wrapping gifts and shit. You know what I mean? So I was aware. But she was like, if you don't clean this room, I'm telling Santa Claus. I was crying. Why am I crying? I know it's my fucking ain't real. I was like, ah. Santa not going to come to my house. It's like, we didn't have a chimney. How the fuck is he going to get in there? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, you know, it's crazy how those little things where you're like, I can't ride my bike. I'm not going to Six Flags. It's just like, you already know what it is. <laughs> All right, so I got a really good Santa Claus story. And then I feel like we should probably wrap it up because we've been going for a long time. And we should like Do we ever finish the Johnny Depp thoughts? We, like, kind of did. We can always come back to it. I mean. I'm with Johnny. I mean, that might be incentive to come back and watch the next one. True. Wait. I feel like before we go, because we're talking about, like... All right. And then don't let me, don't let me forget, I got to come back to Santa Claus. Well, we got to talk about Batman, too. And Santa Claus. But, uh... My, okay, my question for you is, how do you how do you feel as far as being a man and trying to express your emotions? How do you how do you deal with that? I'm not going to lie to you. I figured it out this week. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally this, like, Tuesday. <laughs> It was just a Tuesday, and I was like, well, I guess I'm going to do it today. It was just a Tuesday. I, I do not express my emotions. Like, And the weird thing is, and Steph doesn't know this, but she's going to end up watching this, and now she's going to know. I, Steph. I, I don't typically tell Steph everything that I'm feeling. If it's relevant, like if it's important to our relationship, I tell her. But if it's my emotions and how I feel, I don't always tell her. I don't want her to be upset. I feel like I get what you're saying, and I feel like that's kind of like a, a perspective as men in general. Just like yeah. I don't want to like you're supposed to be the strong person, but I feel like they got to know both sides of you. Like you have to be comfortable with the side of you. I feel like yeah. that that's the hardest part. Like for me now, like I'm an emotional dude. I just don't care. Like I used to be like, because you know you always talk like don't let nobody know what's going on in your house. You know yeah. you're a man. Da da da. But it was like I was going around being so mad and so angry and so depressed and shit, and I didn't know why because I was never taught about depression or anything like that. So when I started going to therapy, I was like, oh, this is not normal. Like, the first time I got, like, I had got diagnosed with depression at first. And they <laughs> they sat me down, and it was weird because I walked in and there was all these, these people sitting down, and they were just like, do you wake up every day, feel mad, you want to fight people? I was like, no disrespect, I'm a black man in America. I want to fight on a regular basis. I was like... It shit is hard, you know. You know what I mean. But it's just like I stop caring. Yeah. Because I'm like these hands work fine. So if I cry, if you, stay, you know, because I mean? people feel like, oh, you express your emotions. It makes me mad when guys say that shit, like because anger is an emotion. <laughs> you're just expressing that on a regular basis. You feel me? It's like you're still being an emotional. It's just like yeah. it's just anger. And I don't understand why is it okay to see somebody get hurt in football and cry about it, but. If you see some crazy shit in your life, you can't cry. That don't make no fucking sense to me. Yeah. Like, I don't know where in the world where it was like, here's a man. Here's a woman. Oh, emotions only go to her, not right. you. And yeah, I feel like... no gray area. Right. And I just feel like... That's why I feel bad for, like, Will Smith and Johnny Depp, but I feel like those situations is kind of bringing awareness that, hey, we feel too. Yeah, they and, needed, like, big names to... to unfortunately, yeah. yeah. But as far as... I feel like... You you got you gotta talk to her. I know I know it's hard, but I feel like that will help. Oh yeah, I mean I know I should, but I, I feel like I'm trying to like save her in some ways. I I feel you, but I feel like she gotta save you too. I gotta save each other. Yeah, I mean she's gonna see this and like be pissed that I tell her shit. So don't be pissed. Just just talk to him. <laughs> it's hard for us to express our emotions. I'll be sleeping on the couch, but a little bit. <laughs> the couch is comfortable. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Yeah. Don't, don't be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, she didn't feel good one day, and we thought, like, maybe she was sick, and I had places to be, and she didn't want to, like, give me anything. I, like, volunteered to sleep on the couch. That couch is comfortable. I love that couch. Do y'all do y'all share a blanket, or do you have your own No, blanket? we have our own blankets. No, I, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we have our own blankets. 
And she and she has her three quarters of the bed, and I have my quarter. <laughs> but she's so tiny. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> She'll be like, "I don't have any room," and I'd be like, "My ass is off the bed." <laughs> that shit is too funny. Like I, I don't know. I'm one of the people who's like, "Leave me alone, but don't leave me alone." You feel me? Like be in my presence, don't don't be in my ass. Right. That's just me. Like I like to cut on shit, but it's like just to a certain point. It's like, especially if your arm gets stuck and falls sick and shit. I don't know. I'm just more like, cool, let's hang out, let's cuddle, let's do this and shit. But it's like, also, get out my face. Yeah. Do you think? Like, can we be in the same room? You doing something, I'm doing something. Or do I have to be like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing over there? Like, I can't. I just, you know, yeah. do we just own or whatever. But for me, I'm like, you got to, like I always say, you get your life, I got my life, and we come together. But you can't lose yourself because you're with someone. Yeah, yeah. That's, I feel like that's. It should make that part of it stronger. Yeah, I just yeah. feel like it's a lot of people do that. It's you like be more of yourself. Be yourself. Yeah, you gotta you like, and I feel like it's healthy to have like, hey, I'm going out with my boys, I'm going out with my girls. Like you gotta have that time apart. Yeah, and it's I, I don't know. I like I've been in relationships where I felt like I couldn't do that, mm. and at first I didn't care. I was like, oh, I'm hanging out with my girl, and then it's after a while, I was like, I don't want to talk to you today. Yeah, I want to hang out with my friends, but then it's like you don't have friends, so you want to hang out with me and my friends. So that, my new rule next relationship is like you gotta have your own friends. <laughs> it's like it's cool to hang out, but you, I need my time, need your time. Mm. I see you every day. I sleep next to you every day. It's like no, I need some space, and that's okay. That's healthy. Yeah, but you know, people just feel like you gotta be a smart ass all day. It's weird. It's like an animal or something. Like that. Like, I'm that's just, no fun. Not, no, I'm like I don't want it in my ass. It's... All right, so let's wrap the story up, and then I'll. Right. We'll, we'll plug ourselves. That sounds like that sounds, se- like, that <laughs> sounds about, sexual. Right? Oh no! You just talk about somebody up to my ass. You go talk about plug. That's how you want to word it. <laughs> that's the thing. You, like, you, you plug. That's the thing, right? It's a plug. A plug. The plug. There's uh, some people. Well, want to plug it sounds. Things. I think that sounds. But there's cer- certain things and terms that are used pretty regularly that I feel. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I think they're like dirty. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> you're not wrong. All right, so I got my Santa Claus story. So, I gotta tell you, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Because you said that, that, did we show you the genie with a dirty mind? G- yes. That's when, yes. like, I can't, you know how he goes, <laughs> every time I, I, I do the same shit. It is bad, because I could be in public, like, I forget somebody said some shit where Carter's, I can't. Carter's laughing. They was like, I can't fit it in there, and I was just like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah, Carter's laughing again. A <laughs> genie with a dirty mind. <laughs> we'll put the link in there, on the, because he, yeah, you get it's it. funny as shit. Right. So I was like maybe five, I was probably, I feel like I was five years old, specifically five years old. Right. And it was Christmas and I was so sure like you don't, don't leave your room because if you leave your room and Santa Claus happens to be in the house, like you're screwed. <laughs> like you're not getting presents. So it was like the next morning, it was light out already. So it, you know, in December, what was it like six thirty, seven o'clock already? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I got to pee so bad. And honestly, like, it's from, like, me to the wall, like, was the bathroom. Right. And I was like, nope, not leaving. So I, like, <laughs> I, like pulled clothes out of my my closet at five and was like, guess I'm going here. And, like... <laughs> you didn't think peeing in your closet wasn't going to get you gifts? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I thought specifically leaving my room was, like, the thing that was going to deter Santa. <laughs> so I just... I, I did what I thought I had to do. <laughs> That's funny. And shit. I swear to God, literally not until the second did I think that peeing on my clothes would deter him. <laughs> <laughs> no, not funny. until right now. Like I was pretty sure that that was still good, still the best option. And then you're just like, wait, maybe that wasn't a good idea. I'm 31. I thought that was, I, to, right now. I thought that was the best option. I always wonder, like, how many cookies did this motherfucker eat? Because <laughs> you gotta go to all these houses. <laughs> Like, then you just, and this is like, are you lactose intolerant? That's why he was so fatty, like a, like a bowl full of jelly. It is like, did you have like the BG from drinking all that milk? And was the, the milk what? cold? The, the bubble guts. When you drink, you know, you know. When the you, BG, I thought it was BG's the band. Bubble guts, what? <laughs> like, staying alive. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know you talk about. <laughs> why would anybody think bubble guts? BG's, that's what they call them, the bubble guts. If like, anyone thought when you said BG's, they thought bubble guts. Y- y'all didn't know. If I if I say, all right, you drink milk and your stomach hurts, what do you call that? 
Not the Bee Gees. You don't call it the Bubble Guts? You never, you never heard the term Bubble Guts, ever. Carter. Yes, but I've never heard, heard it referred to as the Bee Gees. Carter heard of it. I'm pretty I, sure y'all I, did Again, too. I'm saying I've heard of the the Bubble Guts. I've never heard of it being referred to as the Bee Gees. It's abbreviated, right? Like, sometimes you don't want to say the whole thing. That would be like some random thing. Be like, I, I have to go to the J. I have to go to my job. Like nobody calls it the J. That's different. Nobody does that. No, no <laughs> nobody calls it the BG. I bet you. I guarantee you. There's a lot of people who do it. If your name's not Pat, like it, it doesn't happen. All right, bet. See what you'll see. <laughs> We're gonna be. This is gonna get posted. I'm always wrong in these. <laughs> it's like when you you want to bet. I'm, I'm literally always wrong. Like Seth will be like, no, that's not how you do. Seth. I'm like, no, it, it is, and I'm always wrong. You just keep fighting. Like, I like, like your it's, it's always dumb stuff. Like, do you put the water or the toothpaste on the toothbrush first? Water. No, you put the toothpaste on first. No, you gotta, you gotta, then you wet the toothpaste or water first. Well, go ahead. I gotta no, think about say it. it with your voice. Hold on, I gotta think about it. Toothpaste first. Toothpaste goes first. Hold on, let me. I gotta shout think about out this. to to my stepmom. She says no water. She's a psychopath. I'm That's tripping. It is too big. I really had to think about, like it's the things you do every day. I really had to think about that. Yeah, toothpaste first. You could do water, toothpaste, water. I, th- I think that's what I do. Never <laughs> not water after the toothpaste. I think that's what I do. But to have no water at all, that's you well, are a psycho. That doesn't make any sense. But we're really it's like putting shampoo we're in your head. So much off. I don't it know. just not putting water in it. Just... I literally know nothing about shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use shampoo. It's like taking a shower and not putting, not, not showering, you put soap in your Like, body. honestly, I have a little thing of shampoo that I took from, like, Atlantic City. Like, So you don't want shampoo in your head? No, because I found that, like, my head breaks out when I wash my head with product. Okay. Um, so I just try not to use anything. <laughs> but now, now I have, my head got burnt. I went out last weekend and it got burnt and I like this like this is like super white and I'm only like kind of white on this side. <laughs> Does like, it hurt? Or... No, it doesn't even like not at, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> even when it was burnt, it didn't hurt. So you don't wear like a hat or nothing? When... So it was like really windy and I kind of underestimated how warm it was out because it was so windy it felt cold. Mm. And uh, me and Trevor were playing cornhole out in the sun. Trevor and is. we were really bad, so we were out there for a long time. Remember when we were playing in your house, and he was on my team, and he he was so competitive about it, and he yeah. hit the table? You guys got jacked up playing those games. <laughs> Not me. I was good. Didn't I, like, cut your finger open? Oh, yeah. I definitely did. Yeah. Oh, every time I hang out with you, I get hurt. Is that a reflection of me or you? Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to go you. Would I have to fence? I don't think so. I invited you over to like to have a good time, and you have to ruin it. Who who got thrown in a wall? <laughs> I didn't get thrown in a wall. I, I sat down inside of the wall. You didn't sit. I was tired willingly, and I needed a break. Oh, uh, like I'm sorry. From my angle, it looked like your feet was dangling off the wall. You know, like a little puppet. Just... I sat in the wall like I'm sitting in this chair right now. I don't think that's how you sat. I did. I was like. Yo, Kyle, I'm just nuts. <laughs> Remember when you lost your key team? No, I would never forget that story. Remember the second time I lost my keys? <coughs> no. What happened the second we'll time? We'll talk about that next time. <laughs> we don't have enough time right now. We don't. And then whatever he says is false. All right, let's 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 plug ourselves. All right, you, you first. I have to, You go first because I don't know all my social media things. I have to look it up. Uh, so you can follow me on TikTok. My name is Pat on the cam. Uh, you can follow me. Uh, oh, my, matter of fact, it's all on my shirt. Because I'll be forgetting to. Just turn around and show them. All right. We'll do like a quick, like, still frame of it. Sorry, I have to point this out. This is a podcast. That's true. A lot of people <laughs> are not going to see this. I'm going to sit my ass down. <laughs> uh, where's my other one? So, yeah, you can follow me on TikTok. Uh, Pat on the cam. Uh, there's also, you can follow me on Instagram. It's no man underscore studios. Uh, don't follow me on uh, Twitter. I don't. I don't tweet. But yeah, that's twit. uh. Twit. I don't tweet. I don't tweet. Is it? So, yeah. twi- is it Twitter tweet? Tweet. I, f- I don't use it? Twitter. I guess it's tweet. I think it's tweet. But yeah, so Facebook. You know, no, no joke. I heard somebody say that like the the action of actually tweeting something is is called a twat. <laughs> Like, you know, I'm not trying to be gross or like vulgar, but you totally, sure? Somebody, I, I swear to God, I heard somebody say that on the radio one time, and like it wasn't even like bleeped or anything. They just because I actually thought that's what it was called. Hmm. 
Follow me on follow both of us on TikTok. Yeah, all right. So I'll start with the most important thing. Follow me or go to my website, Bane's Film Reviews. It's pretty dope. There's a lot of stuff on there. He does. I, he does. I good. spend way too much time watching movies. So just make it worth my while and go read some of them. Support. Um, support. You can also go to Film Threat. And you can just like go to Google and type in Film Threat Kyle Bane. You'll find a bunch of reviews on that website. Um, then, because I don't know any of my handles, uh, on TikTok, it's at Bane's Film Reviews. That's easy enough. On the Instagram, it's uh, Bane's Film Reviews. I must have changed that because it definitely was something different before. That's how my answer is for TikTok. <laughs> it was no man studio. I'm talking. Huh? <laughs> so rude. Don't support him anymore. I was trying to help him out. Fuck all that noise. <laughs> On Facebook, it's just Kyle Bain. Um, I got Twitter. That <laughs> you're a twitter. Uh, I think this one's different. Tweety twat. Oh, it's just it's Bain's film review because there weren't enough characters to put Bain's film reviews. So <laughs> review singular. So everywhere is Bane's Film Reviews, except for Twitter. It's Bane Film Review. And I think that's all my stuff, right? Yeah. There's no other social media, right? For you? I don't think so. I mean, in general. Could you use Facebook, Instagram, and... and uh, Twitter. Twitter and TikTok, right? Yeah, there's no other, in, there's no other social media. I'm, not that I know of. If there is, I'm, I don't They're know. They're not important. I'm not. I'm, I'm playing. It's not that it's not... In, no, no. I'll ask one of my students. <laughs> But yeah, followers. Oh, they're, they're on like Discord and stuff. I'm not on Discord. I'm not on Discord. Uh, I've heard that like actually, a lot. that's a that's a lie. You're on Discord. I am on Discord. I just I've, don't I've heard it. there's like a lot of like creepy people on on Discord. That's why they can on Discord. <laughs> like, not all of them are are creepy. Look at them. It's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're not all creepy, but like I've had a lot of my students be like, I I started like a chat room on Discord or whatever, and they're like a 45 year old guy showed up and like wanted to talk to me and. Well, you should probably not be on Discord if you're a kid. Like, parents, if you're watching, don't let your kids be on Discord. Or TikTok. It's, it's like weird. Like, honestly, TikTok, at least you can kind of decide what you watch. You can hit the button and be the like, kids. I don't like this. Kids are smart as but shit But I'm now. finding more and more that I'm finding, like, things are popping up that I've said, I don't want this. Like, mm-hmm. specific accounts. I'm like, I don't want this account on here. And I'm just getting you it. You ever get, like, fake accounts trying to, like, add? Yeah, 100%. I, like, honestly, like, there's, there's very few things that I want to watch on TikTok. Like, I just want to watch, like, people cook mm-hmm. um, and, like, pop pimples. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, th- those are the two things I care about the most. Like, if I scroll through, <laughs> I'm not going to get any of those things, even though I've tried really hard to have just those things. Like, this is uh, some chick. I don't know who, I don't even know who this is. Uh, oh, there's somebody cooking. That look like, that looks delicious. I love this guy. Owen Han. He's awesome. Do me a favor. Go to my uh, TikTok real quick. Pimple. See, they're making me a liar because I try so hard to find these things and they're never there. Oh, like Oscar Isaac. I don't care. Wait, wait, yeah. Good on Dunkin' my, Donuts. Good on my, is it Pat on the can? Or is it Pat um, on? Let's see. Is it P-A-T? Pat, yeah, it's Pat on the cam. There you go. One word. I don't think you can have multiple words as your profile name or your handle. I don't I don't know. What is it called? A handle? This, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. You know what the handle bars you use when you drive like bikes and shit? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, so... Why pimples? It's weird. It's like a nice, I don't know, it's very soothing. Soothing? It's very soothing. Because there's like, like I'm very OCD and there's a a result that you're looking for. Mm. And you get that result and it's like kind of a a weird release. We'll talk about pimple pop roving.